lives. It's more than just gum disease and tooth decay. It's actually changing people's lives. As doctors and professionals gathered in St. Louis to explore the connection between dental health and overall health, Healthy Living Magazine was there. Longtime dental hygienist Tricia O'Hare shared some new findings regarding xylitol. One of the hygienists taking one of my lectures um, contacted me several months later to say that I had saved her child's life. The child has Down syndrome and a few other sensory issues, and um, they were worried because he wasn't thriving. And the physician said, well, take out the tonsils. They did, nothing happened. They said, take out the adenoids. They did and nothing happened. The child isn't gaining weight, isn't, the vocabulary isn't increasing. And I talked about how important it is to close the mouth and breathe through the nose. We talked about how easy it is to tape the mouth, but for a sensory um, deprived child, that wasn't an option. So she sat next to the bed for an hour each night and just simply pinched the, the little one's lips together. And for an hour, three nights, the child suddenly started sleeping through the night. Parents started sleeping through the night, which they were happy for, and uh, the child started to thrive. Oh, here's presentation at the American Academy for Oral Systemic Health Scientific Session expanded on the negative effects of mouth breathing for both adults and children. She says children who mouth breathe get 18 percent less oxygen to the brain, causing significant deficiencies in cognitive and brain development. You can see this child is a mouth breather, tongue down and forward. He has what is called long face syndrome, what happens to mouth breathers. You can also look at that vacant stare in the eyes. She says adults who mouth breathe have many issues from snoring and bad breath to dry mouth and infected tonsils. She explains something as simple as medical tape can turn a mouth breather into a nose breather and says xylitol nasal spray can play a role. Clear nasal spray is something that really is essential to keep the nasal passages clean and keep the uh, breathing going through the nose and to protect that tissue. And At the conference, thought leaders presented new research. Dr. Mark Cannon teaches at Northwestern University and is a specialist in pediatric dentistry. He lectures internationally and shared the results of a new study. If you have women ch uh, chewed xylitol gum postpartum right after delivering for three, uh, from three months to two years of age, that you impart a protection against certain dental oral pathogens for up to five years. Now they just redid that study too, showing that even 10 years later, those children were still protected from dental disease. Xylitol is a natural sweetener originally derived from birch wood, first discovered in the late 1800s. So xylitol is in nasal spray, in chewing gum to prevent cavities, and as a locale sweetener. And we learned today that Kraft Foods is the largest importer of xylitol in the United States. Clear market xylitol products in their booth at the conference was a buzz as many began seeking out products with this sweetener that can be used in baking, in candy and mints with its medicinal correlation. And the good thing I think it is for a lot of people is realizing, you know, we keep getting all this bad news. Stay away from red meats, stay away from this, don't consume this. Now all of a sudden, here's something that's easy to incorporate into dental hygiene and dental care, chewing gums, mints, toothpaste, all that would be high in xylitol. And they have such a positive effect that it's a great news and it's an easy thing to incorporate into a daily diet. Patients like it. It tastes like sugar. Uh, it can be put in a number of products that simulate uh, products that we're already using. A hygienist of 45 years, O'Hear says the new findings on xylitol reinforce what she's found in her patients. If someone chews xylitol gum, say, for three to five times a day, they'll actually reduce the amount of plaque on their teeth by 50 percent. Bacteria talk to each other in order to make the slime that sticks them together on teeth on the tongue in the throat, and the xylitol can actually block the docking stations where they talk to each other. So if those are blocked, the bacteria go, well, I guess the neighbors moved away, I will too. They stop making the slime that holds them together and they simply slide off the teeth. Up to 15 grams of xylitol daily have been shown to reduce tooth decay and stave off ear infections. Now the scientific community knows even more about the benefits of xylitol products. At the Chase Park Plaza in St. Louis, Kara Caswell for Healthy Living Magazine.